guys, this is Steve Darren and welcome back sa ating series, The Basic Web Development. So today we are at episode 8 and we are going to learn about JavaScript's variables and functions. So we got, without further ado guys, let's jump into our tutorial. So first of all, ano nga ba ang variables? So, ang variables are containers for storing data values. So, yung variable daw, guys, pwede nating paglagyan niya ng data. So, para magamit natin doon sa JavaScript natin. Okay, paano nga ba tayo mag-declare ng variables sa ating JavaScript program? So, ito yung declaration of variables. So, var, tapos yung variable name natin, which is dito x, equals yung data natin or yung value natin. And then, semicolon. Ito naman, var y is equals to quotation marks, hello world, quotation marks, and then semicolon. So, guys, ang ito, as you can see, number siya, and ito, nakikita nyo, word siya or phrase. So, pagka word or phrase ang ating ilalagay, palibutan siya ng quotation marks para malaman nung program natin na word or phrase or sentence siya. So, ang sinasabi dito, ang variables sa ating JavaScript automatically adjust its data types. So, kung hindi nyo alam yung data types, ang data types is kung ano ba yung type ng data niya. Katulad nito, as you can see, number siya. So, ang tawag niyan is integer sa ibang programming language. Ito naman, text siya, which is tawag sa ibang programming language ay string. So, dito sa ating JavaScript, we don't need to indicate na number to. Hindi natin kailangan i-indicate na text to or string to. Dapat, ilalagay lang natin is var tapos yung variable name equals yung value natin. And then, automatic na siyang i-handle ni JavaScript. Okay guys, um, para mas maintindihan natin, let's put it in our application or i-code natin para mas maintindihan nyo. So, I have prepared something here. So, I just prepared an empty HTML file and an empty JS file. So, as you can see, nakikita nyo title and script tag lang yun nandito. So, kung pinanood nyo yung last video, which is kung hindi nyo pa napanood, panoorin nyo muna kung hindi nyo alam yung internal and external JavaScript. So, ang gamit natin dito is external JavaScript. So, may iba pa siyang file, which is yung src natin, yung fnc.js. So, dapat guys, pagkasama siya sa folder para gumana. So, etong index.html and fnc.js is magkasama sa folder. So, as you can see, ayan, index, then fnc, magkasama sila para gumana yung ating JavaScript. So, every time na magsusulat tayo ng JavaScript code, we will put it right here. So, before anything else, guys, may ituturo pa ako sa inyo function. So, last time, tinuro sa inyo is yung console.log. So, kailangan mubuksan nyo yung inspect element or yung console sa ating Google Chrome or any browsing software para makita natin yun. But we have something called alert. So guys, ang gagawin nyo lang dyan is alert and then open and close parenthesis, semicolon. Tapos sa gitna ng alert na yan, we need to put something. So paglalagay tayo ng text or string, so dapat naka-quotation mark siya kasi text siya so, sabihin natin, hello world. And then, save this. So, huwag nyo kakalimutan i-save. So, kung notepad++ gamit nyo, nakikita nyo naman na color red yung parang disket dito. And then, pagka-save nyo, control S, magiging blue siya. Ibig sabihin, naka-save na siya. And then, if you run this, pagka et, wag yung JS yung i-run nyo, dapat ang i-run nyo lagi is yung .html. Launch in Chrome. So, as you can see, lalabas yan, hello world. So, ayan yung nilagay natin dito. Hello world. Hello world. So, yun yung alert para mas madali natin ma-test yung ating mga program. Okay, so let's go on sa ating variable. So, gagamitin natin yung alert na yan, i-enter natin. So, paano mag-declare ng variable ulit guys? So, sabi nga dito, var. Tapos yung variable name natin, kahit anong variable name. So, kunwari, um, phone. I phone. 1. So, ayan. Meron tayong variable phone na ang laman is iPhone 1. Tapos, meron pa tayo isang variable. Variable version. It's equals to 1. 1. Version 1. 
Okay, so meron na tayong dalawang variable na dineclare which is yung var phone na text and var version na number. Okay, guys? So, pagka in-alert natin yung isa dyan, pwede natin i-alert yung isang variable. So, if you alert, var, alert phone, save, and then, guys, kahit i-reload nyo na lang to, so, yung binuksan nyo, i-reload nyo na lang. So, reload this page, so, may kita nyo, iPhone 1. Okay. So, pwede din natin i-alert yung version. Version, save, punta ulit tayo doon, and then, let's reload this. As you can see, lumabas number 1, which is yung version number natin. Version 1. So, guys, ayun yung variables natin. So, when it comes to strings or text, pwede natin pagdagdagin yung, or may tinatawag tayo na concatenation, which is pag didikitin natin yung dalawang string. So, kung mara, iPhone lang ilalagay natin dito. Tapos yung version natin, 5S. So, ayan. So, nakikita nyo, pagka nireload ko ito ngayon, nasan yun? I-next ko. So, we will run this. Run should Chrome. As you can see, lalabas yan 5S lang. Kasi, ang in-alert ko is yung version lang. But, what if uh, gusto kong ilabas is iPhone 5S. So, i-okay natin to Tapos, lagay natin ito phone plus version. Save, control S, and then reload this. As you can see, iPhone 5S. So, pwede na natin palitan to iPhone 6S. So, okay. Reload natin ulit. iPhone 6S. So, guys, ganun yung concatenation. Meron din naman tayong tinatawag sa number na operator. So, num1 saka num2. So, guys, pwede tayong mag-operate ng number. So, pwede natin silang pag-add in, pag-minus in, pag-multiply in. Okay? So, kung nga rin, num1 plus num2. Save, control S, and then reload mo to. Reload, and 7 yung lalabas. Kasi 5 plus 2 is 7. So, meron tayong multiplication, which is used by asterisk. Okay? Reload, 10. 5 times 2 is 10. So, meron pa tayong tinatawag na minus, divide, and modulus. So, pag-aralan nyo na lang yung kung ano ginagawa nyo. Alam, sa tingin ko naman, alam nyo kung ano ginagawa nun. So, hindi ko na kailangan explain sa inyo. Just try it kasi ahaba masyari video natin. So, guys, naiintindihan nyo na ba yung variables? Good. So, kung may hindi kayo naiintindihan about variables, and then feel free to comment below. So guys, tapos na tayo ngayon sa ating variables. Now we will proceed sa ating tinatawag na functions. So let's go back to our slide and let's define what is function. So, ang functions are used to perform tasks. So, ito yung syntax ng function natin. So, we have the function keyword and then yung function name which is parang variable name lang kahit ano. So, in this case, nakalagay dito say hello and then we have open and close parenthesis. Sa gitna ng open and close parenthesis na yun, pwede tayo maglagay ng parameters which I will explain later sa ating code. And then we have curly braces, close and open. Sa gitna ng curly braces na yun, we have our command. So, nandito na lahat ng code na gusto nating ilagay. So, para mas maintindihan again, natin we will code this ourselves. So, let's go back to our um notepad plus plus and then we will try this function. So as you can see guys, um, I delete ko muna to. So yung ating syntax is function, then function name sa akin, say hi. Gusto ko say hi. And then open and close parenthesis, which may sinabi nga akong parameters dito but pwede din natin wag lagyan ng parameters. So mamaya i-explain ko sa inyo kung ano yung gamit ng parameters natin. So, we have and close and open curly braces. And then, sa gitna nun is yung ating gustong mangyari. So, we will alert. We will just alert. Hi. Hi. Save natin. Save. Control S. Hi. So, now, kung i-explain nyo, dapat gumana na agad dyan, di ba? Dapat may lumabas na alert na hi. But, if we try to run a reload this one, so, okay. Pag nireload natin to, reload, wala na malabas. That is because hindi pa natin tinatawag yung function. So, ibig sabihin yan, hindi na siya automatic na tatawagin. Lahat lang ng nasa labas ng function yung tatawagin niya na automatically. Now, we need to call the function say hi. So, paano natin tatawagin yun? 
So, itatype lang natin yung function name. Kunwari, say hi. And then, close it. Open parenthesis. And then, semicolon. Control S. Save natin. Napindot ko control D. Save natin. Okay? So, tinawag na natin yung say hi. Once we reload this, dapat mag-alert na siya ng hi. Reload. Ayan na. This page says hi. So, ayun guys. So, ayun yung function. So, basically, ginugroup lang niya yung mga gusto natin gawin para mas madali na lang siya. So, pwede natin ulit-ulitin yung say hi na yan. Say hi, say hi, say hi. So, apat na beses nyo na sabihin yung say hi. If we reload this, yan. So, sabihin niya, hi. Pagka in-okay natin, hi uli. Tapos, pag in-okay natin, hi uli. And pagka in-okay natin, hi uli. Tapos, okay natin, wala na yan. So, four times siyang tinawag. So, Ayun, para mas pinapadali niya yung buhay natin kung may gagawin tayo sobrang haba na code and gusto lang natin i-compress sa isang function para tatawagin na lang natin kung paulit-ulit natin dapat gawin. Okay? So, ganun yung purpose ng ating function. Now, let's move on sa ating parameters. So, sabi ko kanina, may parameters dito na sinasabi parameters. So, ano nga ba yung parameters na yun? So, guys, para siyang variable dun sa loob ng ating function. So, Let's type in a variable name. So, hindi na natin kailangan lagay na bar x, ganyan, ganyan. So, we just put a variable name, which is, kunwari, name. Yan, meron tayong variable tawag name. And, pwede natin i-add dito yan. So, lagay natin space plus. Pwede na natin i-access sa loob yung name na yan. Plus name. So, sinabi ko kanina, pwede ko concatenation. So, hi plus name. So, paano na gumagana kaya yun? So, as you can see, you will notice na pagka tinawag natin yung say hi, meron pang open and close parenthesis dito. So, wala namang laman. So, ito yung sinasabi, sinasabi natin na parameter. So, pwede tayong maglagay ng something dito. So, we will put a text here. Hi. Say hi to Ellen. So, ano dapat yung lumabas dyan? Alert hi plus name. Hi, Ellen. So, so let try natin. So, Punta tayo dun sa, ano natin, Google Chrome. Then, reload this. Hi, Erin. So, yun yung ginagawa ng parameters natin. So, nakikita nyo na ba kung ano yung kwenta ng parameters natin? Okay. So, pagka dinoplagin natin na to, spinaditan natin, Hi, everybody. So, let's run this. And then, reload natin to. Hi, Erin. And then, pag in -okay natin, Hi, everybody. So, na-increase yung code flexibility natin. So, mas madali na siyang gamitin. So, yun yung parameters. And guys, we can take multiple parameters. So, kung gusto niyo pag-addin yung dalawang number, mas madali na. So, let's open natin to. So, delete natin to. Gawa tayo ng bago function. Function, add num. So, we will manghihini tayo ng num1. Tapos, um, need natin ng comma para comma, comma, comma. <laughs> num2 so para ayan dalawa na hinihingi niyang parameter and then open and close curly braces then niya alert natin is yung num1 plus num2 okay gets niya ba and then semicolon so ngayon itatawagin lang natin yung function na add num then sa loob niyan ilalagay natin yung dalawang number natin gusto mong pag then so kung nari 10 and 25 save natin yan and then, we will reload. So, na-close ko. Let's run this. Let's run Pro. As you can see, lalabas dyan, 35. So, ano yung pinag-add natin? 10 plus 25 is 35. So, ayun yung kinagawa ng ating function, guys. So, pinapadali niya yung buhay natin. So, kinocompress niya yung ulit-ulit na code na gagawin natin into a function para tawagin na lang natin yung function na yun. And, mas dadali yung buhay natin kasi... Tatawagin na lang natin siya. Add num, tapos naglalagay na lang tayong dalawang number. Hindi na natin kailangan sulat ulit yung num1 plus num2 ulit, 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 ulit. So, yun yung purpose ng ating function. So, yun yung function plus variable. Pinagsasama sila madalas. Okay? So, I hope you understand something for today, guys. And, eto na lang muna. Kasi humahaban yung video natin. So, sana may natutunan kayo. And, kung wala kayong naintindihan... <laughs> Mag-comment na lang kayo kung ano yung hindi nyo naintindihan. And we will try to answer your questions, guys. So, thank you for watching. And as always, guys, I will see you in the next video. Goodbye!